and welcome back to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and I know in my last video I was um, all about how I'm not reading YA and I'm branching out into non-fiction and poetry and everything else but I thought that today uh, just as a sort of balance video I would talk to you about some of the YA that I've been reading and loving this year and also share with you a couple of books that I'm really excited to read upcoming on my TBR. So with that in mind, I have four books that I want to share with you that I've loved so far this year and four books that I'm really excited to read. Now the first book that I wanted to talk to you about today um, is the first book that I read this year and that is um, Underwater by Marissa Radcart. This is an arc that I got um, earlier in the year. I didn't know very much about this book before I started reading it. Um, because on the, on the back of, of this, I don't know if you can see it, it just says, uh, number one, breathe, number two, you're okay, three, you're not dying. And I, I kind of knew that it was a book about a girl uh, with anxiety, but I didn't really know anything about what caused her anxiety. It's about a teenage girl um, uh, that something something happened to her and uh, because of it uh, she hasn't left her house um, in several months. She's she's taking classes at home, she exercises at home, she doesn't really speak to anyone else except uh, her mother and her brother. And this is the story about how uh, she begins to get a little bit better. Now there is a cute boy who moves into the apartment next to her um, and that is a sort of catalyst um, in the story but what I loved so much about Underwater is that this book is so much more about um, this one girl's journey towards a better mental health, uh, better me mental well-being um, than it is a love story. I mean, there is that element there, but so much of the story is is also about the therapy that she goes through, um, helping her agoraphobia. Um, so much of it is about her relationship with her little brother um, and with her family. Um, I loved the juxtaposition um, that we have of um, the main characters anxiety and agoraph agoraphobia together with her dad's uh, PTSD. I thought that was that was a really interesting uh, combination and added this sort of extra element to the story. Um, this book was my first read of the year. It was my first five star read and I absolutely cried my way through it. I thought that so much of it was uh, was so relevant and beautiful and just heartbreaking in the best possible way. So if you haven't already read uh, Underwater, I really do recommend that. Uh, one of the books that I read towards the end of last year but it wasn't published until this year was one of my favourite books of 2016 and that is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Um, I've uh, misplaced my copy of the book so I don't have that here to show you but um, it's an amazing amazing book that kind of uh, combines the Middle East together with the like Wild West and it has this main character who's pretty badass um, and she sort of starts the story and she's a, uh, she's taking part in this shooting competition in order to uh, save up some money so that she can leave. She lives in this desert, um, she, she's she knows that and loves the desert with um with everything that she is that she she's always um had this dream to go um her she her she remembers stories that her mother had told her about um this other place she really wants to go uh, there she meets this boy and um just all sorts of things happen um i absolutely absolutely adore Rebel of the Sands. The, the main character, um, I, I guess both main characters, if, if you're talking about the, the girl character and the boy character who is sort of the love interest. I love the setting. Um, I thought that was incredible. I love the twists in the story. Atmos this, this story, it was so atmospheric as I was reading it. Um, it really just swept me up into the mythology of this world, into the characters, the relationships. Oh my god, the relationships! It, it was adventurous. There were just 
there are not enough um, wonderful words in the world to describe this book. I'm so excited uh, for more people to read it. I'm so excited to read more in the trilogy. It's the first in the trilogy and it's been a long time since I've been this excited about a book. Next up we have this book. It's When We Collided by Emery Lord and I was so nervous to read this book guys. I was really really nervous because um, I think possibly on the press release it was compared to um, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And that makes sense right because this book is about two people who meet and one has bipolar disorder and the other grieving the loss of his father uh, and um, <laughs> and this is a book about the two falling in love and I, I could see the parallels to all the bright places but um, what what stopped me from rushing directly into reading when we collided is I didn't want the same thing to happen to this character with bipolar disorder I wanted to feel when I was reading this story um, and I, I felt it when I was reading all the bright places is I wanted there to be more hope so that um, bad things um, aren't inevitable for those of us with with mental illness and um, that was the reason that I kind of put reading this that's the kind of that's kind of the reason why I put off reading this book for as long as I did with without without giving away too many spoilers for this book I'm I'm quite happy with the direction that I'm really um, I'm quite happy with the direction that Emer uh, Emery Lord took in this story. Um, I did finish reading this book um, on a plane um, coming home from Italy and those those last sort of 50 pages just absolutely slayed me and I was just bawling in my in my seat and the, the man next to me sort of pretended like I wasn't actually sobbing my eyes out but it was a very very good story. I, I did love the two main characters, Vivi and Jonah. I loved this small town setting and I loved all of the art. Fourth book that I read so far in 2016 that I really, really loved is The Square Root of Summer by Harriet um, Ruder Hapgood. It was published by Macmillan in May, I believe, and it's all about physics and love and summer um, and uh, I absolutely adored it. I really, really did. Um, I managed to read it without knowing very much about it, so I didn't realize how much science and physics and specifically um, wormholes were going to feature in the story. So this is... Um, this is the story about a girl called Gotti and uh, she's having kind of a rough time of it. Um, her grandfather has just died. She's just broken up with her secret boyfriend um, who happens to be her, her brother's best friend. Uh, nobody knows about it. And um, she, she hears that uh, an old friend who used to live near them is returning uh, for the summer. There's stuff going on um, and um, she, she really likes physics, right? So she she's doing all this physics stuff and she's trying to come up with this new formula um, for, for wormholes, um, uh, time travel sort of thing. Um, and she gets so into, uh, into the physics and remembering things from the past that she actually falls into these wormholes and you get to see different uh, time periods of her and her grandfather, her and her uh, secret ex, her and her her um, her friend who's just come for this this visit. It was all about um, and, it, and it was so cute. Um, I think that I picked up the book um, specifically because it was a book about romantic relationships. But the, the relationship that really, really got to me when I was reading it is definitely Gotti's relationship with, uh, with Grey, her grandfather. It was just the most incredible relationship. And I think that especially because of my own um, kind of sad relationship with between me and my father right now that any kind of father-daughter relationship is just absolutely killing me lately um, especially when it's written as well as Harriet Ruder Hapgood has written Gaudy and Grey. Books that I'm looking forward to reading um, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Um, 
I love Morgan Matson. Night Wanderers by CJ Flood. I loved, loved, loved Infinite Sky. Um, I'm really excited about Night Wanderers. This one's all about friendship. This one, Lying About Life Last Summer by Sue Wallman. One about summer, I believe, and lying. <laughs> With, with a really great cover. I'm definitely excited to read that one. And finally, the new one by Sora Manning. London Belongs to Us. Uh, do let me know the books that you've been reading and loving in 2016. What books are on your radar that you're really excited to read upcoming? Let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.